in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use uh, the Roland MT32 MIDI MIDI sound synthesizer on the RetroArch using um, DOSBox Core. So let's begin. You'll need a few things before you start. You will need the BIOS files for the Roland MT32 and CM32L. This is where you get it from this URL. You could download it here. And you'll need these four files. And you'll need to put them into your RetroArch folder. You need to put it into the Systems folder here. Need, um, that these if you would like you just dump it all in there if you want I don't think it matters it's all good. Okay, that's it for that. I did make a video about this for DOSBox. It's a little bit different compared to DOSBox. And I'll, but I'll show, I'll show you how to do this. Going to DOSBox. If you haven't already, uh, you, you have to get the DOSBox Core. You could go to Online Updater, Core Downloader, go to DOSBox Core, download that, and install it. And let's load the Core. DOSBox Core. Start the Core. Type scroll lock to get game focus. If you didn't already make a DOSBox core.conf file, you could just type this and you should be able to have that file. So let's exit. Press F. To minimize that. The next thing I want to do is I want to configure that file. So you want to go to RetroArch Saves and you could open DOSBox dash core dot c o n f file you could open it with notepad like i did there and there's a few things you have to change in order to get this to work you gotta get to this this is kind of like a readme or something instructions for your midi uh, midi um section so let's see what you have to change you have to set the MIDI device to MT32 which I did it gives you number of choices you could pick I picked this one here next thing I have to pick is uh, MIDI config. I use this example here. So I use that. 
and I just pasted it here like that. Next important thing is uh, the BIOS directory for Roland MT32. I put it into the RetroArch systems file, as you saw earlier. And that's pretty much it. That's all you have to do. Let's go to DOS box again. Game focus again. I'll be running a game called Sid Meister Civilization. I'll be selecting number five for the sound mode. That's Roland MT32 sound, or synthesizer sound. Let me go back and I'll show you the ad lib one as well. Select this four for the sound this time. That's ad lib and sound blaster. As you heard, the sound doesn't sound as, I mean, the ad lib and sound blaster sound doesn't sound as refined as the MT Roland 32's music. So that's how you get the MT 32 to work on your computer on a DOS box using a RetroArch. That's pretty much it. It's as simple as that. I've also made a video on how to do this on a standalone DOSBox 0.74 emulator. And um, when you use DOSBox 0.74, you have to um, you have to install a program called Munt. For this one, you don't have to install Munt. This is a lot simpler in a way. That's what I wanted to share with you today. If you have any questions or thoughts, you could leave it in the comment section below. And thank you for watching.